obviously I have to say something, not much, just a general thing, and on the bench also, especially in New York, uh, uh, game six. Um, in general, it's really hard to uh, describe all, all the experience, except uh, if you start saying some regular hockey stuff that coaches say, you become one of the coaches, and I don't want to do that. I'm, I want to be a teammate. and. Uh, um, I, I don't think I talk to many teammates, but uh, certainly a couple of Russian guys. A lot of people uh, calling you the old man, saying you have no game. I guess there's something left in that tank, huh? Well, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I guess so. I, that was just a regular breakout, and uh, it was two on two in their zone. And, uh, all I remember is just uh, not much uh, had going on, so I decided to shoot the puck, and I stopped, and I did it, and uh, I guess. My fall throw were a little longer, so I'd be able to hit the top corner, the short side. Sir, 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 can you describe how great it was playing in front of a place that was this loud tonight? Yeah, it was very loud, especially in the third. I think uh, fans felt that we're trying to make a push. Uh, we're trying to put the puck behind their D and uh, forecheck as hard as we can. Um, they were really cheering hard. They really want us to do well. They really won that victory, and uh, it was a great atmosphere. All. All around, I'm sure uh, any player who play in an atmosphere like that would enjoy it and uh, work hard and play hard and uh, really uh, amazing experience. And um, it's a little bit different rhythm when you uh, kind of don't play 20 minutes plus. Uh, so uh, uh, to me personally, it's really enjoyable and uh, really really nice. And uh, I don't know, I'm excited. I don't think so I can breathe last five uh, minutes 46 seconds. I was so excited. Was in, uh, the locker room talking about how he spoke to you about the goal you scored that knocked the Caps out years and years ago, and he said he wanted you to know how bad that felt then. Does this make up for it then? Yeah, okay. That's, that's a deal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think uh, we had a little conversation about that. I, f I felt bad. I don't know what to say, you know. If uh, people like 10, 12 years uh, since uh, still talking about that, so... That's why I took your deal right away. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell Tad the same thing. <laughs> so about, were you concerned at all when he made his bull rush leap onto you and seemed to jam you into the boards? That, should something be said to him in the interest of teammate safety? <laughs> 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 well, I think uh, he hugged me pretty hard, so I got a seat belt on by his <laughs> arms. So I flew into the boards with him, but he protected me from the hit. So it was comfortable. <laughs> In terms of what she kind of said there, backtracking on it, when you think about the way last year ended with the run up until that point, how good does this feel for you? Oh, this is better. <laughs> this is better than what I mean, for yourself. And I, you know what? The, the personal thing isn't isn't important. I mean, uh, it's what you dream about playing a chance a chance to play for the Stanley Cup. Now there's eight teams. I mean, uh, a week ago there was 16 teams and. Now, nice. one of the messages was 20 more minutes. How hard is that to work as hard as you can for one of the best feelings you're ever going to have? <laughs> uh, the age spectrum, can you talk about the poise and maturity of your goalie? And do you remember what you were doing the week of your 21st birthday? <laughs> no. But I mean, um, uh, he's, he's tremendously poised. I mean, uh, I still haven't talked to him since game one. I don't want to <laughs> screw him up, so I'm leaving him alone. And, uh, uh, well, the way they were coming the first two periods, to, for him to have the poise that he did was uh, was tremendous. He seemed really, I don't know what, he was, what his stomach was doing, but he seemed very calm out there. What do you do to make sure your team doesn't go down 3-1 again? I don't know. Try hard. <laughs> I mean, hopefully you win two of them. So it's only 2-2. Two -two. I mean, we want to win every game we play. <clears throat> Bruce, the last few days of the series have been kind of a circus. Um, are you ready for what's about to happen? Yeah, that wasn't a circus. That was just like the beginning of a circus. Now, <laughs> it wasn't Ringling Brothers anyway. Now, if we're playing Pittsburgh, which it looks like, welcome to the circus. <laughs> I was going to.